We are now going to learn about EPS submissions and payments. We do electronic prescriptions in our pharmacy. I'd like to know which electronic prescriptions need an exemption declaration. Okay, well the, the exemption declaration is set on the electronic message of course, and you only need to do that for prescriptions where the exemption is for a reason other than age. Uh, the reason for that is that patients have their date of birth on their central NHS record. So if the patient is under 16, or if they're 60 and over, then it's already determined that they are age exempt on the central record. Can our PMR systems help with this? Uh, yes, they can. So they can help prevent any accidental errors. So for example, prescriptions going to the pricing authority with the paid status. So some PMR systems they warn you, if you are about to send a prescription to the pricing authority with the paid status, they can warn you and, and ask if, if that's correct or if you need to adjust the information. Is there a resource or somewhere I can learn more? Uh, there is. Uh, we have a web page on this, psnc.org.uk slash EPS exemption. So how do we submit claims for electronic prescriptions? So you submit them on, on the electronic message itself. Uh, you send the claim message to the central spine so they can go on to the pricing authority. Can my PMR system help me calculate my total EPS figures? Uh, yes, often it can. So often you could look at your PMR system EPS totals reports for the month and also look at how that takes into account the five day window. In my pharmacy, we seem to be printing out all the tokens. Is that necessary? Uh, it's not necessary. The only ones you need to print are the ones that go to the pricing authority. And which ones are these? Uh, those are the ones where the patient paid or if they were exempt for a reason other than age. But you're not sending them there to get priced. They're only used for audit purposes in relation to patient fraud cases. You mentioned earlier the five-day payment window. Could you explain exactly what that means? Yes, this is a, a five day period which is designed to let you finalise submitting your prescriptions to the pricing authority. So it takes place between the 1st and the 5th of the month and it's designed to kind of match the paper process where you'll be sorting your paper prescriptions and sending them off to the pricing authority. Uh, it also determines which dispensing month your EPS prescriptions go into. So depending on a few things, and that is when you send the dispense message, when you send the claim message in relation to that prescription, and how those two dates interact. If you sent your dispense message by the end of August, then you would need to send the claim message by the 5th of September for that prescription to count as an August dispensing month prescription. Uh, if the claim message was sent an extra day later on the 6th of September, that's outside the five day payment window, that would push the whole prescription into the following month, into the September dispensing month. So you mentioned the dispensing message and the claims message, what does yes. that actually mean? Uh, so they, those are two messages which you can send using your PMR system. Uh, so you're sending EPS messages to the spine in relation to a specific prescription. So the dispense message you're sending earlier in the process and then later in the process you will send a claim message which will help trigger a claim by sending information to the pricing authority. So what's the consequence of leaving it out of the five day payment window? That would delay the pricing of that prescription which means your reimbursement would come a bit later. Uh, also you wouldn't want to miss the claim message because EPS prescriptions, if you do forget to send the claim message completely, then they do expire after six months after the dispense message has been sent. So it's very useful to send dispense and claim messages very often. That also helps in, in case there's an outage or problem and you know you have already sent all the messages you need to the pricing authority. Could this affect the payment of the medication dispensed? Uh, yes, it could because it changes from month to month. 
So depending on when you send your messages impacts the drug tariff month that prescription goes into. So as an example, a price concession. So if there's a price concession rate that's set in August, that only applies to the August drug tariff month. And it may be different in September. And all this information is on our website and we'd encourage everyone to view it.